Welcome to Animated Science Biology. This time we are looking at aerobic respiration, which can also be called cellular respiration, which can also be called glucose catabolism. In specific, this video will cover the first step of aerobic respiration, which is glycolysis, and in future videos we will cover the other three steps. Neurons of the nervous system use enormous amounts of energy to send information throughout the body. Aerobic respiration is the primary mechanism that produces much of the ATP for the neuron and most of our cell types. Check out the ATP video that explains why ATP is the energy currency molecule uh, for most of our cells. The first step of aerobic respiration is glycolysis, which takes place in the cytosol of the cell. Glycolysis literally means sugar splitting. Hence, glycolysis is going to be extracting energy from the glucose molecule shown here. The cell will also utilize some of the electrons of glucose to phosphorylize ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate. The phosphorylation of ADP creates ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So phosphorylize literally means to add a phosphate to a molecule. During this process, some of glucose's electrons will reduce another molecule called NAD, shown here, which plays a significant role in the last step of aerobic respiration, the electron transport chain. So to perform glycolysis, a series of 10 reactions occur in the entire metabolic pathway, which 10 different enzymes are going to be catalyzing this reaction. For the beginner episode, we are going to skim over the details of these enzymes and the intermediate molecules. For those of you that are interested in these steps, an intermediate video will be produced soon and you can check that out. The first half of the pathway is the energy requiring phase, which requires two ATP molecules to input some energy into the system. These molecules literally lose their phosphate and become ADP, which we will bring back into the system later on. At this point, we can see the altered glucose molecule being split in half, which produces two G3P molecules. The next half of the reaction is called the energy releasing phase. These two G3 molecules are going to release a hydrogen with some electrons that are going to be reducing the NAD molecule into NADH. During this reaction, a inorganic phosphate from the cytosol is going to attach to each G3P molecule giving us a total of two phosphates on each B molecule. Here we can see that the phosphates from the molecule are being attached to the ADP molecules to phosphorylize it into ATP. We have now replaced our original two ATP molecules. A few more modifications are then made to the altered G3P molecules and finally our last two ATP molecules are synthesized from the remaining phosphates. This is going to leave us with two pyruvate molecules as our final result from the altered glucose molecule. In summary, the entire glycolysis process took one glucose molecule and split it into two pyruvate molecules. It also took two ATP to be consumed and produced four total ATP with a net of two ATP. And finally, we have two reduced 
NAD molecules into NADH molecules, which are going to play a role in the final step of the entire aerobic respiration pathway, the electron transport chain. So that does it for the beginner episode of glycolysis. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at the pyruvates that are going into pyruvate oxidation and the Krebs cycle. And then finally, we will finish the entire cellular respiration pathway uh, with the electron transport chain. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if I helped you out, please give me a like and subscribe. Lots more videos I have to do. There is tons of science to cover. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.